Hey, are you thinking about selling your house and wondering how to stage it without breaking the bank? Well, you're in luck. I've got eight budget-friendly tips that can help you sell your house faster and for more money. So stick around because I got you covered. Hey everyone, it's Jade Lee Duffy here, your friendly San Diego realtor, and I'm all about the home selling process and making it a breeze. But before we dive into these awesome tips, I've got a few fun facts to share with you. According to the National Association of Realtors, staging is kind of like making a small investment. It's all about getting the most bang for your buck when selling your property. We're talking about home selling three to 30 times faster and for up to 20% more than non-staged homes. And I'm sure that you would agree that's probably not a small amount of money. So just to be clear, staging isn't decorating. We're not just here to make your house look pretty. Our goal is to depersonalize and neutralize your home appeal so it appeals to as many buyers as possible. So let's dive in. Tip number one, begin with curb appeal. First impressions do count, so ensure that your home stands out when buyers arrive. Some quick upgrades could be done over the weekend and they actually probably require just a little bit more effort than actual money. Here are a few suggestions. Rent a pressure washer and eliminate dirt and grime from your siding, your roof, your gutters. Paint the front door to freshen up the look. Update your house numbers, lighting, your mailbox, get a new welcome mat, tidy up the edging around flower beds, add small shrubs, seasonal flowers, greenery to empty beds. And in the winter, possibly play some large urns or planters with evergreen shrubs and hardy annuals. Okay, tip number two is depersonalize. You want buyers to picture themselves living in the house and not picturing you living there. So remove any personal items such as family photos, personal artwork, and any other items that reflect your unique taste or lifestyle. Basically, your goal is to create a blank canvas. So go neutral and present an inviting space that allows potential buyers to imagine themselves living there. Pack up, store personal items, and don't forget the garage and the yard as well. And this also gives you a head start for packing for your move. Okay, tip number three is to declutter. You've all heard it, how important it is to declutter at home, and it does make a difference in creating a positive first impression. Go through each room, declutter, and make sure to define the purpose of each room. As an example, if you have a room that's both an office and a workout space, choose one function to highlight and temporarily pack up the rest so there is a clear purpose to that space. Moving on to tip number four, streamline your furniture. Another key to preparing your home is to remove excess furniture, which is a common culprit in a decluttered space. When professional stagers work on a home, they often remove up to 50% of owner's furnishing to create a more spacious feel. It's essential to allow buyers to freely move through the space in each room and make sure it's unobstructed by furniture. Make sure there's easy access to your home's standout features such as a fireplace or built-in bookshelves and keep all the windows free and clear. Avoid clutter by reducing items on your coffee table and not overloading the couch with pillows, preventing potential buyers from sitting comfortably. Let's also talk about rearranging the furniture. You might have heard that putting all the furniture against the wall makes your room look bigger, but that's not necessarily true. A cool trick is to actually move your furniture away from the walls to create a cozy conversation spot by rearranging the chairs and sofa and also to think about how people move around your furniture within the room. It not only makes your space more user-friendly but also gives the illusion of a bigger room. Going on to tip number five, 
adding office space. With so many people working from home and homeschooling is becoming more popular, it's a good idea to think about adding a more functional office space to your place. Don't worry if you don't have a whole room to dedicate to an office. You can get a little creative by adding a little cozy corner to a spare bedroom or even a closet into a handy office nook. It's all about making life easier for your potential buyers. Tip number six is make your bathroom sparkle. Start out by thoroughly cleaning your bathroom to impress potential buyers. Get rid of hard water stains from faucets. There are hard water stain cleaners that you can pick up at Home Depot. And make sure that there's no sign of mold and reduce clutter by minimizing your products and cosmetics in the drawers and medicine cabinet. Make sure it feels spacious in there. Upgrade your bathroom with new shower curtain, a new bath mat, and any rugs that you have in there. And also, if your grout is dirty and has seen better days, you can pick up a grout stain solution to clean it. And if there's any moldy caulking around the tub or shower, carefully remove it with a razor blade and just re-caulk it. I've done it myself, and it really doesn't take that long. I probably did it in less than an hour. And once your cleaning is complete, achieve a spa-like ambiance with white towels, candles, and a selection of premium soaps and lotions. And moving on to tip number seven is white towels, white bedding, and throw pillows. Invest in some fresh new white towels and bedding. These will give your home an inviting, crisp and clean look. And don't worry, you don't have to spend a fortune. Some budget-friendly options are at Home Goods, check on Amazon, or even Walmart. That works too. New throw pillows can also make a room look more luxurious and visually appealing. And if you don't want to buy new pillows, consider getting new slip covers instead. It will really make a difference to your room. And the last tip, tip number eight, is go big on mirrors and artwork. Size does matter here. Large mirrors and large pieces of artwork have a big impact, much more than a small cluster of photos or art. And a pro staging tip is to hang artwork at eye level, around 60 inches from the ground. By hanging at this height, it helps to seamlessly integrate into the room's design. And instead of cluttering a room with a bunch of small decorative items, try to find one or two big pieces to decorate the room. This approach will make the space feel more grand and well-designed. And smaller items can also clutter a space and detract from the overall appeal of the room. And don't worry if you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of new items. Maybe consider asking your friend and see if you could borrow some of these pieces to save on expenses. Well, I hope these staging tips help you create a warm and welcoming, also neutral environment to your home, making it more appealing to potential buyers. By following these suggestions, you can potentially sell your home faster and for a better price without a significant financial investment in professional staging services. And if you're hungry for even more tips on this topic, check out my previous videos in the series where I spill the beans on how to sell your house for top dollar and mistakes to definitely avoid when selling your place. Oh, by the way, if you want to dive deeper into this process, you can set up a chat with me. Just hit me up on my calendar link in the description box below, where I'll be able to answer all your burning questions and help you get the absolute best results. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, for those who have stayed till the very end, thank you so much. I've got some extra bonus staging tips for fall. Let's get right to it. Fall tip number one is keep seasonal decor to a minimum. We all love holiday decorating, but too much can turn off would-be buyers when they're house hunting. Not only does it distract from the house itself, but they could also offend some buyers that don't have the same views or beliefs on holidays. So stick with holiday themes that are neutral and use decor that is from nature is a great way to incorporate some seasonal flair that is appropriate for all buyers. Tip number two is accent with fall colors. 
Another great but subtle way to bring a touch of the season into your home is by bringing in some fall colors, such as dark red, burnt orange, dark green, and gold all work. Also add some pillows to sofas, armchairs, or beds that have a seasonal element, such as fabrics that are knit or faux fur. And if you have a fireplace, make sure to stick some firewood next to it to kind of let buyers imagine what it would like to have a fire during a cold fall or winter night. And the last fall tip number three is to incorporate seasonal scents. Don't underestimate the sense of smell when selling your house. A subtle hint of fall accents can help buyers get into the spirit of the season and feel more at home. Cinnamon sticks are a great choice to place around the house and also some scented pine cones. Just remember not to overdo it. There you have it, a bunch of staging tips to help you sell your home. If you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.